What is good, YouTubes? It's your boy Ray, and this is the Everyday City Carry. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this. This video was brought to you by Asia the Amazing Outdoors. Located in Woodridge, New York, you can enjoy the amazing outdoors in the Catskills. There's camping, ATV rentals, ATV riding lessons, guided ATV tours, and much more. Give them a follow on Instagram and shoot them a DM for inquiry. Or you can email them at asianewyork at gmail.com. This video was brought to you by nafsale.com. This website is for knife lovers everywhere. Anyone in the world can buy or sell knives here on a truly customized platform made for people like us, man. When I listed knives, they asked what the blade steel was and you get choices right there. They ask you what the scales are made out of and you got choices right there. The point where I knew that this was made by a knife lover, when I had to select what brand the knife was and all the brands we know and love were on there. Secure payments and safe shipping. You get tracking for literally everything. When you get paid, when something was sold, when the money is on the way, you get insurance as well, dude. There's a rating system, and if you have a good track record, you're actually eligible for giveaways, which they will do in the future. There's a giveaway going on right now. For the first 300 users, you're eligible to win a TRM shadow, bruh. That's crazy. And lastly, the customer service is done by real people. I know this because I have been working with nafsale.com daily and they get back to me really quick. Forget eBay, forget all these other sites. Head on over to nafsale.com where EDC folks buy and sell their knives. This is the Benchmade tagged out. Let me unzoom a little bit on that, show you what you get inside. Get the little books and crap, you know what I'm saying? Get the Benchmade little pouch. And this is from the Hunt series, bro. Aesthetics, we got to address the elephant in the room, the orange elephant, right? I actually like the way this knife looks, yo. All right, I'm usually not into the orange, <laughs> orange scales or anything like that, but I don't know. As like a hunting outdoors knife, I'm kind of feeling this one. I was a little bit iffy about it when I saw it in pictures, but now that I have it in my hands, I'm in love, dude. It's gonna be hard to lose this one. It is bright orange, and it's actually not translating as well as I want to in video, but the type of orange it is looks really dope. This thing is really, really slim too. I mean, look at that blade, look at the scales. This is a nice slim profile right here. Ergonomically, this is where my small fish paw hands fall naturally, right on the jimping. Sweet, bro. Absolute sweet spot for me. Uh, does the clip poke at you a little bit? Let's bear down on it. So I, I actually feel something more here because you see that? It's like my thumb or my thumb, my hand meat kind of just meets the clip right there. It's not terrible. I'd, I say if you, if you grab it like this, it's not terrible. I'm sure I know some people do this. I don't do that. This is how I use my knives to cut packages. <laughs> and basically I'll probably be going like this maybe to cut open a package from Amazon. Jeff Bezos, bro. You know what I'm saying? But ergonomically, I think this is pretty good, man. Now the action on this, pretty good for a bench made, especially out the box. This is brand new. This came to me brand freaking new and usually when you get bench maids they don't do the drop shit like this at all you got to break them in but this thing came very very smooth right out the box i would say that of all the bench made knives i've tried recently the readout is the one with the best action and this is probably second best now you got a clip point 154 cm blade CPM 154 is really a jack of all trades metal that can be worked easily, yet retain its characteristics of chip resistance, edge retention, corrosion resistance, and ease of sharpening. I got that from knifeup.com. Your blade length is 3.5 inches, which I actually prefer now. I used to carry like three inch blade length knives, but New York City is four inches and below. Uh, that is the blade length restriction. And I kind of like the 3.5 length knives now like i mentioned earlier this blade is very thin dude the blade thickness is 0.09 inches this is gonna be slicey bro 
The price for this one is $171. I'm gonna put a link in the description to Blade Ops where you can grab this right now. Why is it $171? You're gonna ask because you got you know, plastic scales, but you are paying for the Benchmade. That's what you're paying for, man. You're paying for made in the USA. You're paying for that. You're paying for that LifeSharp warranty. $171 for this, I, th I think it's pretty fair because it is a Benchmade and we've just come to accept that <laughs> from them. Your scales are grivery, all right? So like I was saying just now, it is plasticky but the texturing is really nice on this i do really like it it's not too crazy it's not too crazy like on the readout where they just went mad with power and put like just jimping everywhere these actually feel really nice they're rough enough to give you a nice grip but they're not rough enough to fuck up your hands now, the weight on benchmade is 2.1 ounces and we're gonna check right now if our scale says the same thing bro you know what i'm saying we high tech up in this now we high tech bro you know what i mean i have got 2.15 ounces that is interesting yeah i've got 2.15 on on this man so that's what i'm gonna go with 2.15 ounces bro 2.15 you know what i'm saying this does feel pretty light though in the hand. You're gonna be amazed. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I didn't think I would like this knife, but after holding it and like seeing how it feels like, dude, the weight on this is sick. Of course, it's bench made. You got an axis lock. And I said this earlier, I keep going back to the beginning. This does not feel as stiff as most bench maids. And I just messed that up right there. This seems really nice for a bench made like right out the box and I'm very happy about that. Now the bearings, it's actually washers, bro. You know what I'm saying? You do have washers on this. I don't know if I can show that to you. I'm not gonna open this because it's not mine. But like I said, very, very nice action. We're gonna go to the size comparisons now. We've got the bench made tagged out. This is an 8.13 inches. We've got the Tucson TS-165 and that is 8.58 inches and then you've got this which is the ontario rat number two which is seven inches the clip is the mini deep carry clip and it's cool that they give you a deep carry one like right from the get sometimes benchmade doesn't do that we're gonna get out our jeans right now our hulk jeans bro and see what's up see what's up with this this pocket clip yo Pretty good, I'm gonna say. Now, is it gonna rip up your jeans in the long run? I think so, because I have marks right there, right away. Let's see. It's pretty good though. I'm gonna say this right now. It's pretty good, and you do have that much real estate coming out. Now, in conclusion, I did not think I was gonna like this knife at all, dude. I did not think I was gonna like this knife. I kinda love it, man. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda love it just for the simple fact that it's nice ergonomically. You got a really, really thin blade stock and you know, decent steel, you got CPM 154. And you got that Benchmade made in the USA. You got the warranty and all that. I'm kind of, I kind of like this. I'm actually, I feel kind of ashamed to say because I don't like orange, like these, these safety knives, bro. Like orange means safety, like, you know what I'm saying? But this is pretty sick, dude. This is pretty sick. Uh, Benchmade knocked this one out of the park. I think this is gonna be a good model for them. Let me know in the comments if you like this one. And of course, I have links in the description for this. It's your boy, Ray. This is the Everyday City Carry, saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.